us. We have the big show uh, tomorrow night in Hawkesbury, Ontario. Uh, now we must say that this is the only, the only tribute show, memorial show, I guess you could say to your brother. Passed away. It's been two months now. That this uh, this has been, been three months and twelve months. days. It was May twentieth. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So take us take us through that a bit. Of course, we're talking about uh, Randy Macho Man Savage, a gigantic legend in the world of wrestling. Uh, what, what was it like to get that news? Well, I was on my way to California, and I stopped in Dallas on American Airlines, and I turned on my cell phone, and um, there was a message from uh, Largo Medical, mm. and uh, that. Randy and Lynn had been in an accident, and Randy was in critical condition. So I called the number they left for me. I was on hold what seemed like forever. Mm -hmm. And then um, I got Lynn on the phone, his wife, and she says, you don't know? And I said, I just landed in Dallas. I don't know anything. And she told me the whole story, and I just, oh, man. So I called Jimmy Hart, the mouth of the South, mm -hmm. and I told him about it. I said, please tell the promoter I'm, you know, I'm going back home now. Yeah. And then um, I waited in line to change my tickets, and they weren't going to let me do it because the flight was sold out. So I begged her. I lost my dignity, you know, and I got emotional. I begged her, and uh, then she talked to her supervisor, and they found a seat for me. Mm -hmm. And then I called my mom, and uh, I was really uh, not looking forward to calling her. But I, I wanted to, I didn't want to call her until I had some good news that I was going to be home. And. Uh, she was just a basket case. It was just horrible. And then a few days later, um, okay, he died on Friday morning. And then um, on Monday, we were going to have the viewing and the cremation. Mm -hmm. And he had made, he had left explicit plans of what he wanted and what he didn't want. Uh, you know, so uh, I went to my mom's house and I saw Channel 10's news uh, outside of her door. And I got furious. Mm -hmm. I mean, an 84-year-old woman she, on the day of her uh, firstborn son's uh, funeral. Mm -hmm. So I walked in there and said, oh, Lanny, we're so sorry. I said, stop it. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing. How do you live with yourself? She's 84 years old. Mm -hmm. He said, well, we didn't win. She invited us in. I said, you're taking advantage. Now you get out. And I didn't touch anybody. Yeah. But um, I have a friend, a uh, very, very good friend in radio. He's got one of the biggest drive time radio shows and uh, not one of the biggest. I called him up, he got furious. He said, do you want to be on my show? I said, no. So I wrote a letter and um, like a letter from me to, uh, you know, send him an email and he read it on the air, what backlash they got, you know, for taking advantage. Yeah. I mean, we've got a, um, where is the decency? You know, and it was one thing to see my brother's body and he was a large part of all of our lives. But it's another thing to have, to, to witness my mother view the body. That, that's because I have a very healthy attitude toward living and dying. You know, especially my own death. I'm, I'm ready any time. But he, um, my, you know, my mother does not deserve to have a microphone in her face and people there that are predatory news gatherers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I, was, I was very angry. I didn't touch anybody, yeah. but I did something worse. I ruined their reputation. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. You have to you have to commend that for sure. Uh, we appreciate you definitely giving us some insight in this, and uh, I guess some stories that people don't know. So thanks for. Yeah, on. he died of uh, ventricular fibrillation, and uh, I didn't know a word about that. You know, but I now I'm kind of an expert. Your heart is divided into four parts: the atria and the ventricles, left and right, left and right. And fibrillation means to quiver. So basically, he died of low blood pressure. Uh, you know, and he said. Well, I'm not feeling very good. I think I'm going to pass out. And then he did. Too bad he was driving at the time. Mm -hmm. But his wife um, grabbed the wheel. Um, he, had, he had gone over the median into oncoming traffic. And uh, she grabbed the wheel and steered it into a tree very safely. Mm -hmm. But she needed to stop the car because his foot was still on the accelerator. Mm -hmm. So she saved the life of a motorcyclist, and they almost hit a bus as, as well. Wow. So she was definitely the hero. Mm -hmm. um, but he was, um, he did not die from the vehicle. No. No, he was, um, he never regained consciousness. As a matter of fact, it's the, it's the most beautiful, painless death you can hope for. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, WWE legend, uh, Lonnie Paul from the Genius with us today, and Hannibal as well, pro wrestler, and uh, more with them coming up in just a bit. We'll check the news as well. You're going to be reading one of your poems for us on the air. I'm oh, sure. We're looking forward to that. And you may hurt Kyle. So we're going to see <laughs>
All right, 828, Melissa's got your news coming up in moments.